Today we're going to show you a couple of advanced Adobe Connect tips and tricks that are kind of nice and a couple of um, uh, tips that I like um, for when I host meetings are the ability to add both an mp3 player that plays music in the background before the meeting and also a, a countdown timer. So I'm going to show you both of those. Um, Adobe Connect has a uh, an extensive community of developers that develop flash based objects that you can add into your connector room for free and I'll show you where those are at in just a moment. But once uh, you load them in then you can just continue to use those objects within your room. Um, and remember Connect uses a persistent state so that means you can continue to use the same room over and over if you'd like. If you create a new room you'd have to re-upload those, uh, those objects but that's very simple to do. So let me show you what they look like. This is the SharePod. And I'm going to come down and show you the countdown timer. Let me stop that because I was actually in the middle of running one of those. And then also an MP3 player. And I'm going to pause that for just a second. So I like to have these running in advance of the meeting. And what you can do is you can just go into the set time. Um, set the time for however long before the meeting starts. 15 minutes say and then click start. And it automatically starts to do a countdown. And it will just continue to run here, and the, and the participants will see that um, object and know when the meeting is going to start. And when it gets down to um, under a minute, it just says basically the, the meeting will start or begin in a moment. So it just converts to a moment. So in case you don't happen to be right at the computer at that time, it doesn't um, go into negative numbers or something like that. Uh, and the other thing I like is this MP3 player. And there are three default songs that play. Turn that down just a bit. Um, and they will just play in a loop sequence uh, over and over. And you sort of turn that volume down or to the level that you want the users to be able to hear it. They could obviously could control it as well. Um, but uh, this is sort of nice to just to have as an intro while people are waiting for the meeting. So you got a countdown timer and then a music background. And um, you can see it just changed over to 14 minutes. So I really like these two um, tools. There are other tools as well. And by the way, the MP3 player, you can add your own, let me pause that, you can add your own MP3 songs to the playlist. So you don't have to leave the default. There's, um, some contemporary and some jazz and so forth, but you can add your own songs to the playlist very easily as well. So where did I get these? Um, you go over to the Adobe Connect Exchange, and I'll put this uh, link in the tip here so you can see it. And let me show you some of the ones that you can download. There's the MP3 player, and there's the download option. There's a little quiz utility, quiz game. It's actually kind of a game that you can have the participants engage in right within your Connect room. There's a task list, a hands up, a carbon calculator. I'm not sure that uh, people would use this, but uh, there's a carbon calculator tool as well. This is actually probably pretty useful for folks that may have a, some sort of in, um, a visual uh, or hearing impairment. Rather, there's a closed captioning pod that goes along with the meeting. Uh, chat translation that translates into different languages, which is nice a star rating pod, a chat pod with question view, a little file cabinet, and there's others on the next page as well. There's a multi-user chat pod, survey pod, um, randomizer, randomly selects a participant, great for prizes and giveaways during your meeting. A doorbell thing that alerts people via people into the room by a doorbell. There's a Twitter connect feed. I actually have this running um, as well. Um, so if you have a, you're following a conference, you can actually pull in a, a Twitter feed directly into your connect room. Um, a stage light, I like actually like the, um, uh, this is basically, it tells you the students if they're presenting, you know, when um, the time is up, <laughs> if they have a certain amount of time per presentation. There's the countdown timer, um, a rock, paper, scissors game. Um, some of these are tools that we don't support so we won't help we'll talk about those talking stick is a great resource we just unfortunately don't support it here uh, master video control lets you adjust the resolution and frame rate and so forth and so on so you can see there's a whole bunch of them here 
So anyway, those are I'll I'll put that uh, list of that URL. And then once um you download it, um, there's instructions. But basically the process is you just go to the SharePod and click on Add New SharePod and then select your um, countdown timer and your mp3 player and it will upload into your your SharePod section of your course and they'll just remain resident with this meeting room in perpetuity so you can always just uh, pull those up and use them but I really like them I um for my Adobe Connect meetings that I hosted this semester I used those both of those um, tools um, quite to, for every meeting that I hosted and they were just uh, just really awesome I really liked um, the ability to um, oops, to um, have those two things running and then when you're ready to go all you have to do to to get rid of them is you just simply go to the menu up on the top and you click on hide and that will hide them so um, it's real simple to um, to get rid of those uh, uh, when you're ready to uh, to begin your your meeting let me go ahead and hide this one here and um, see if I've got the mp3 player so you just hide that right here and that just takes it away and you're ready for your meeting so very simple um, but uh, a very uh, useful utility for your Adobe Connect meeting